Welcome back to another episode of Beho Reviews. Today we once again take a look at my favorite system, Sega Saturn. We took a look at the 3D power that developers had when making games for that Saturn. On paper, the Sega Saturn was ahead in the most powerful system in 2D and 3D. Unfortunately, not many people knew how to use that power. Very few could get the system running on how they wanted and went with the easier to use PlayStation to make their gift games. Here are games from my collection not already mentioned in my other videos that I felt made the Saturn system the way it is today. 2D at its core with a little bit of added 3D. Pandemonium was released in 1996 by Crystal Dynamics. The game was a 3D platformer running with 2D gameplay that was later described as 2.5D. The game was incredible to see in motion as it ran smoothly and gave depth in 3D that really held your interest. Music was top notch making this colorful adventure one to remember. Sonic World was a game within Sonic Jam and was released in 1998 by Sega. This was the first time we could see Sonic featured in a 3D engine for what we thought were things to come. Never happened and this was a fantastic demo of how Sonic would fare on the Sega Saturn in a 3D world. Panzer Dragoon 2 Zooey was released in 1996 by Sega. This game is a rail shooter that is a huge improvement from their first installment in 1995. The game has better graphics at a solid 30 frames per second, more dragon evolutions, bigger world and atmosphere with branching paths to encourage multiple playthroughs. One of the best games taking advantage of the power of the Saturn and using it in the right way. Burning Rangers was released in 1998 by Sega. This third person action shooter has you controlling an elite group of firefighters in the future. They have technology to help them fight fires directly. Same team that worked on Knights, this game revolves around saving people as the fire is the antagonist. The color, special effects, and details at times were a visual mess for your eyes, but with good framing and gameplay, this game shined on the Saturn. Sonic R was developed by Traveler's Tales and released in 1997 by Sega. We all thought that this was a 3D adventure Sonic was waiting for on the Saturn. It turned out that the R was for racing. The 3D and music were fun, colorful, and addicting. I kept playing frustrated by the gameplay to have great graphics and music hooking me on to play more and more.
House of the Dead was released in 1998 by Sega. The game is a game that looks much worse than its arcade counterpart, but for good reason. The game is fast, smooth, and very playable. I think Sega made the right choice in order to play a light gun game at a fast rate with no drops. The graphics suffered a bit, more than normal, but with all the action on screen and fun two players, you don't even notice it. Thank you, thank you. Tomb Raider was released in 1996 by Eidos. The game put adventure games in 3D on the map when they released this game. With a vast world, great protagonist, great puzzles, what could go wrong? The controls are like a tank controls, worse than Resident Evil. 3D games were hard, frustrating to control during this time, and Tomb Raider was no exception. The game itself is a spectacle to see, but with controls like that, I'm glad we evolved with two analog sticks. Now press it again and quickly press one of the directions and I'll jump that way. <laughs> Sky Target was released in 1997 by Sega and tries to mimic and the tried and true afterburner but in 3D. The arcade had a high frame rate, fast moving action with nice detailed graphics. The Saturn chops the game up with muddled colors, choppy frame rate, and bland graphics. The gameplay was just okay and needs the rest to boost itself up. Biohazard is a Japanese name for the Resident Evil in North America. Released in 1996, Capcom takes advantage of the popularity of zombies and long ago game Alone in the Dark. The game had 3D models and pre-rendered photo like backgrounds. The combination worked great along with great and over the top voice acting. Indeed a classic with horrible tank controls. This is one of a kind by Capcom. Bug 2 was released in 1996 by Sega. This 2D gameplay in 3D environments has colorful, attractive stages that have the character move on a grid in 3D and on, on 2D gameplay with the illusion of 3D altogether. Quake was released in 1997 by Sega. This game technically should never have been on the Saturn, but thanks to the bottom of the East engine, Slave Driver, the game that also did Duke Nukem 3D, the game is actually on the system, remastered for the Sega Saturn. <laughs> Nights Into Dreams was released in 1996 by Sega. Meant to be the answer to Sega's problems like Sonic did for the Genesis, you either loved the game or you didn't understand the game. I never quite understood the game and could never get past even the first boss. I did love the controller it came with. Nights for me is a beautiful game with speed to show the hardware capabilities of the Saturn. But that's about it for me.
that's it for me on this episode of 3D Games in my collection for the Sega Saturn. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and Greg, take us out of here. Damn.